I mean, this has been like this, but I just look and I'm suddenly surprised by a bended water snake. <laughs> He's just sitting out in the open. If they're sitting out in the open, it's usually at nighttime. But, oh man, I don't want to piss him off too much, but that is pretty incredible. Wow, this is... I got him in the net, but then he fell out, and then I he fell in the pool. <laughs> oh my god. But that's Corrine. Oh, he's moving a little. He's got to come up for air at some point. Okay, well, he's officially out of the pool. Normal, pretty cool snake. I'm surprised. These guys have never been in the pool before. They overall go in this night. Here's the snake again, but now I have a good opportunity to look at the belly. I like the pattern. Pretty cool. And he's gonna go over there. Nice. So, it's been a little while. I can't believe I didn't record this, but there was a frog in the house. Or not in the house, but by the porch. And then I flip the bricks and find a ring neck snake. As you can see, it's been pretty wet recently. It rained. But yeah, pretty cool snake. This is crazy because it's already mid April and it's been raining a lot recently. So a lot of the frogs who've been out and everything like that. And some of the snakes too. It's pretty cool. I can imagine seeing a lot more stuff from here on out. So I found this guy earlier and I'm not here presenting it to you, but this here is a greenhouse frog. Well, in the US we call it that. It's the Cuban flat-headed. Oh, Cuban flat-headed frog. Ah. Eh. I haven't seen these guys in a little while. Probably because of how dry it's been. But with the rains returning and the rainy season approaching, I'm sure we'll see a lot more of these guys and plenty of other frogs.